girls. I have a fun story. This story is called The Napping House by Audrey Wood. So she's the author. She did all the words. And the illustrator is Don Wood. So he did all the pictures. And they have the same last name. I think they are a husband and wife. The Napping House. Well, it looks like there's a lot of napping going on there. <laughs> okay. This is a nice story. Let's see. Oh, it looks like it's raining a lot there. There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And in that house, there is a bed, a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that bed, there is a granny, a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that granny, there is a child, a dreaming child on a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that child, there is a dog, a dozing dog on a dreaming child on a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Hmm. And on that dog, there is a cat, a snoozing cat on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that cat, there is a mouse, a slumbering mouse on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that mouse, there is a flea. Can it be a wakeful flea? On a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. But not quite everyone because the flea is awake, huh? I wonder what's going to happen with that flea being awake. A wakeful flea who bites the mouse. <gasps> Look what happens to the mouse. It was flying up in the air. He must have been very surprised to wake up from his sleep getting bit. Who scares the cat? Who claws the dog? Who thumps the child? Who bumps the granny? Who breaks the bed? Oh my, things are getting crazy in there. In the napping house where no one now is sleeping. Now they're all wide awake. And the sun came out too, huh? That was a fun story, isn't it? Thank you, boys and girls.